Syntax, statements, variables, and keywords. Syntax refers to the set of rules that dictate how a program should be structured and written within a specific programming language. Essentially, they are the rules for the programming language when writing code within that programming language. These rules define the correct arrangement and usage of statements, variables, keywords, and other elements that are written within the code. Syntax rules and the proper use of these elements ensure that a program is written the way that the compiler interpreter of an integrated development environment can understand and execute this source code. Violating these syntax rules will ultimately be an error. And when we get an error, the program's not gonna work, it's gonna crash. So it has quite catastrophic effects when you do make syntax rules. And when you start program, one of the things you'll see most commonly is syntax error. Syntax error and runtime error. They come up all the time if you're writing things incorrectly or if there are logic issues in there, okay? So be ready for errors, but knowing your syntax and the correct way of writing things can help you avoid these errors. So let's look at these three areas of statements, variables, and keywords. And we'll start off with statements. Now, statements are individual instructions or actions that make up a program. So the lines of code we write out that are executing different functions, they're all created from statements. Each statement performs a specific task or operation, such as assigning a value to a variable, performing a calculation, or controlling the flow of a program's execution. So we've got many different ways we can use statements because yeah they are the foundations for us creating our overall sub programs and overall code for a program so a simple statement could just be c equals a plus c it does something it's adding two variables together in order to give you another variable okay so we can use pretty much any type of calculation or any instruction is a statement now, I've already used the word variable there because you can see C, A, and B are all variables. They're all the values that are going to be assigned either by the program's calculations or potentially by user input. All right, so we'll jump over then to variables now. And a variable is a value used in programming for a value that will change based on user input or other calculations. So we're expecting these variable values to change. They are like a placeholder value that we give a name to, and then essentially it will be assigned a numeric or text-based string value later on in the program as it goes through its processes. Since we cannot predict the probability of what a user could enter because there's infinite things they could enter we need to create a word to represent and store the input that a user enters in that scenario okay and also then these might be used for calculations for more data later on and we can't predict that either so even for the processes within the program in order to create a word to use as a variable we must do what's known as a variable declaration and the specific codes that is done that some just let you say the name of the variable straight away and you say it's equal to what specific value you want sometimes you've got to use a designated uh values uh, or functional word within a program such as dim and you dim the variable name as a specific data type so there's many ways you can do variable declaration but let's just have a look at examples of what variables could look like so as we said from the statement scenario a b and c used in that context they could be my variable names although they're not very meaningful to what the calculation is that i might be doing within my program but then we could also have ones that have more relevance to what they might be used for in my program, such as count or name, okay? And they probably align to keeping track of the number that is being counted or the entry of a name into the system. But pretty much what I'm trying to show is with my last one, a potato, we can call our variables anything, except if they conflict with one other category of syntax rules within my program. And that is that of keywords, which is our final category of what I'm looking at. We cannot name variables a name that is an existing keyword within a programming language already. Okay, because obviously that leads to logic errors in the program and the program won't let you do it anyway. So you can't, you can name a variable anything provided it's not already a keyword within the syntax rules of the programming language. Okay, what are keywords? Well, keywords are reserved words in a programming language that have predefined meanings or purposes. Okay, so there are words that actually execute functions. Okay, they've got, data behind them they've got lines of code behind them so we're not always typing raw okay that's why we have programming languages they allow us to do things through the use of their language and make our lives more efficient when programming use things okay they are a part of the language's syntax and cannot be used for variable names or identifiers 
Keywords indicate specific actions or control instructions to the compiler or interpreter. So they let the node to conduct specific operations. So in relation to control structures, the sequence, the selection, the repetition, the types of those that there are, they are all aligned with specific keywords within a programming language. So let's have a look here, an example. Okay, and this could be if I'm using Python and I want user to input data, okay, or I want to output data to a user, I type print name, okay, and it'll show the name that a user may have input put it earlier okay and then output it at this stage and write print name it'll write the name they entered from an earlier state and present it on screen and then I've got some selection happening so you can see with the other pink words I have that I have if and then okay and I'm using that in a case of binary selection so if potato is less than five then potato equals potato plus one I get one extra potato if I've got less than five potatoes so that's the logic there I'm using the keywords to show a binary selection in that state so what I'm trying to show here on screen is my pink writings the keywords my yellow writings my variables and obviously I've got statements of code all saying different things whether to present the name variable on screen or to actually do my binary selection there they are statements in action too so all these elements are used in conjunction with each other but obviously following the syntax rules of the programming language that I'm using so I hope this video has given you an understanding of syntax the rules of the programming language that I'm using I've obviously got to comply with these rules otherwise my program's gonna have errors and it's not going to work but your basic starting point is getting understanding of how to write statements within your program to execute lines of code and create actual functions that you want to do within your program the use of variables for storing data and assigning a relevant name to those variables so as they're easy to track and then you're able to reuse the data entered by users and calculations later on within your program and then finally keywords those reserved words that execute functions within your code in relation to specific actions and control structures that ultimately allow your program to do things in the, with their foundations so i hope this video has given you a good understanding of what syntax is